guys, so we are here at E3, day two. All right, it's gonna be the beginning of all the fun again, and I'm excited. Let's see more stuff from since yesterday, but if you haven't watched my first vlog, do check it out. I'll put the link down in the description. It is all about Nintendo, and with the, of Zelda, of course. You guys know that I love Zelda, and uh, the Breath of the Wild is amazing. So again, just do check that out. Evelyn's the feature in it. She's a little planning what to do right now. So we're at the door. Right, let's head in, all right? All right, I am in. Oh yeah, excited as again. <laughs> so guys, I am at the uh, Microsoft Xbox booth. Um, what's cool is uh, when I was walking around checking out all the games and all of all like Final Fantasy 15. Um, I noticed this one individual standing right there, and I was really excited to, to, to even meet, meet up with them. He's really, really, really a fantastic guy. Um, I, I helped uh, fund his Kickstarter, his uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Uh, right now, he's at the Xbox booth, like I said, and he's taking, you know, you can meet up in person right up there. And he's right there taking pictures, uh, signing signing autographs. He signed one for me, I have my business card, you know, signing one of my business cards I put back on my badge. So that's all I had in my hands. So I just gotta grab a pen and sign, and sign it. Really cool, he's right there. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go around, give you guys a better look. Oh, 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 oh. And people are playing his uh, Kickstarter game, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. So, Really, really neat, awesome to meet him in person, and you know he was just standing there, literally in person. So really cool. He's just like, is it taking pictures with people, with the fans? You know, very, very, very approachable. So that's the great thing about E3. Awesome. All right. Um, Evelyn was also uh, happy to meet up with him as well. God, she also, you know, shook his hand and everything. So it was very really nice. She didn't obviously she didn't know who he was, but I'm like, hey, you know, he makes Castlevania. She knows what Castlevania is all about. Um, and this is the spiritual successor to Castlevania. So Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, really cool game. A lot of noise around music, I should say. Uh, Evelyn saw something that's really cool. I mean, I was around the corner of the Microsoft booth. I saw, uh, obviously, the Bunch band here, pretty neat. Fans can come up there, uh, just taking their hearts out in a band style. You know how the game is like. But what's interesting is this right here from PDP. And look at that, these are Amiibo stands. And with Amiibo stands, they have a sword that you get in the back side of the Amiibo you can play, so it looks really nice for them. I don't know why it's called, it's a musical Master Sword stand. I think, I guess it has music in it. Pretty, pretty neat. Um, that's a, a, a cushion block where you put your 3DS uh, games in this cushion block and kind of holds it up. It's like a good storage. And this really, really cool dunk cover display. And, and lastly, this uh, fireball display uh, for Amiibo for Bowser. And it moves, look at it, just like the level from um, Super Mario Bros. for the NES. And of course, we're gonna end it off with these um, storage and case for the Nintendo 3DS XL, or the new Nintendo 3DS XL, I should say, with all the, you know, it has accessories, a cover that you can open up, and story system in the, on the bottom side. So all, all of it here, really, really cool. And yeah, I, I, some few things that are not on market yet, and it looks really nice to see in person. Walking down the convention hall, you pass by this here. It's actually uh, seen by the Super Soul Brothers. They're pretty cool. They play various music from different games, from all genres, all game, all different types of games, I should say. And I'm gonna show you a little bit of it. Check it out. Uh, the artwork of various video games and it's um, 
into the pixel and ex ex exhibition of the art of video games. Um, you can see right away some of the new art that you present. That's from Flower, one of uh, indie games in the past. That is really nice and it's very relaxing. Here are some other very, very like beautiful artwork. I'm just like admiring as I go. Give you guys a little glimpse of it. So let me know if any of these art uh, of various video games are your favorite games actually. And it expands throughout the entire area. I'll give you, show you a few more. A few, a few more. So, E3 is full of surprises as you walk through the convention. A lot, lot of nice cool things. And you listened to music before and now you're seeing some various artwork. Wow, pretty cool, right? So, oh, looks like something. I just came down the elevator escalator here. Looks like I want to get something. Oh, they got... Look at this big... Thank you! <laughs> oh, I got myself a Dorito. Yeah, Dorito mix. With this big Dorito. Right there, in the middle of the hall. Right, guys, so I am at the Square Enix booth. It looks amazing. This is like really rubbed my alley. Uh, if you guys follow me on all of them, I'm a big Final Fantasy guy. And what you see right away, you can see Final Fantasy 15 with a really nice banner of all the various characters' face uh, lined up around the uh, circumference of this hall. And all the various posters of the various games that they're promoting as of right now, like Deus Ex, Hitman, Final Fantasy 15, of course, Kingdom Hearts Unchained, uh, Final Fantasy 12, uh, Zodiac Age. Um, Final Fantasy 12, Zodiac Age is really, really something that I'm really looking forward to. It's like a, one of the old RPGs on the PlayStation 2 that I really love. I played a lot of it. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of the demo stations here. This is the Final Fantasy Brave XVS. I never seen this before, so it looks interesting. I'm going to try to get into that. Uh, I think that might be a mobile game. I could be wrong. Yes, it is. It's a mobile game on the like uh, uh, pad. Uh, this is Turning Test. Uh, over here is Just Cause 3, Land Assault. And of course, this is um, I Am Satuna, something that I'm really looking forward to. It looks really interesting. It's like... Uh, uh, Turnstile Classic RPG. And this is the demo station for Final Fantasy 15. You gotta be online here to play it, but it's pretty decent. I'm gonna try and get that get online to play this. Um, here is Kingdom Hearts. Oh, HD. What is it? Two. 2.8. <laughs> I, I, I always get the numbers just wrong for them. And this this is uh, Final Fantasy 12, the Zodiac Age. It looks really nice. Uh, maybe I'm gonna give this a go as well. There's like there's not much people on the line here, so I'll give uh, get on right after this. They have uh, Star Ocean, Integrity of Faithlessness, and of course this is uh, Dragon Quest Builders. Like uh, I guess it's some sort of like a Minecraft kind of. Uh, and a game with the uh, Dragon Quest characters in it. Alright, so there you have it. This is uh, Square Enix's booth. And uh, let me know what you guys enjoy seeing in this booth itself because it looks probably kind of fun. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna get into it. Alright, let's go. Hey guys, so I am at the uh, Capcom booth. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit around what you know, what some cool things that are featured in this uh, booth at E3. Um, first off, you see right away there's the Hun Monster Hunter Generations limp. Um, really nice, it's like in the game, and uh, this is the de where people demo the game itself inside the. I guess it's contraption here, uh, and this is the line for it, and uh, people get to view what's uh, happening as there are people playing in there. So, really nice way to just uh, showcase it. I'm gonna walk around the around the corner, and, and uh, right away, you're gonna see something pretty pretty nice. Is uh, Capcom tends to do this in a lot of the conventions, but some of the few things that I haven't seen yet because I've been to PAX in the past, and they do have glass cabins, and they obviously they have uh, some of the uh, this is you could kind of find. This is uh, the Funko figures of Mega, Mega Man um, figures. There, uh, here are some of the other various like limited edition Mega Man X figures that are available. Some of the mugs, uh, various hats, merchandises that you can find. Here are some of the some of the cool um, figures that are are present. There's a Chung Lee. Looks really really amazing to get a glimpse of her and of course there is Ken right there 
looking crazy nice. One of the, the zombie dogs from Resident Evil. Awesome, the dog. Really, really crazy looking. That's Ace Attorney, uh, Phoenix Wright. And this is really nice, this has really got my attention. Um, I haven't seen this in person yet. This is actually the Okami um, Amaterasu first floor figures. And, uh, something that, wow, really got my attention. So guys, this is the end of day two. I just came out of the uh, expo hall and uh, we're heading back home. It's been a long day. This, uh, the second day is usually considered the longest day of E3 because they uh, open at 10 a.m. and uh, ending off at 6 p.m. Uh, a lot of things was uh, crazy things to see. Um, you know, always, always great memories. Good thing, that's the best thing about it, going to these things. Many gamers strive to come to this event. I remember when I was a kid, you know, I always wanted to go to E3, but now to come here to experience it in person is truly always a fun thing to do and uh, to take home with the good memories that are, you know, come from this such a gaming convention. So I'm sure Evelyn could say the same thing. And uh, Evelyn's waiting for me, making my final second day two Hello. vlog. And uh, all right, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so we're gonna head out. Have fun. Yes. All right. So, all right, guys, you gotta catch you again. And for day three, bye. So I'm at the Sony booth. I'm going to show you something pretty cool. And up the screen here, you see behind me is uh, Last Guardian, and uh, that's the creature from the game. It's really nice. They have, uh, people come up uh, up in front of the screen. And you can pet them, and actually interacts with you as you're touching the screen. It's like if you rub his nose, he'll actually sneeze. If you give him like a barrel, he'll he'll kind of look at you and and whimper. So really neat. It's uh, it, it's bigger than you see. The girl there standing, that's how big that screen is. So really, really neat. Um, this is one of the games that's really, like I'm anticipating for the PlayStation 4. And it looks really to be gorgeous. Yo, check this out. I'm walking around. I see that right away, look at that. Ain't that crazy? Getting everyone's attention to it. And this is like, bigger than life. And someone's controlling it inside. Oh, oh. And this is from the game Horizon Zero Dawn for the PlayStation 4. The girls try to like try to whack it. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. One of the uh, cool things that I've, you know, I've seen at the booth, and it's between Microsoft and Sony, is like they're dueling each other. If you go through this hallway, you can see right off of that, the two companies kind of facing each other. Xbox and PlayStation. Evelyn's picking Xbox, she's standing here. <laughs> but, ooh, you know, it's, it's, it's like a forbidden crypt. No one's in this hallway. So, it's really nice admiring all the lights so I'm surrounded by both Sony PlayStation and Microsoft Xbox. Around the corner from the Doritos uh, booth there was some really really cool thing here. You look carefully. This is the uh, Final Fantasy 14. Share your photos with uh, you riding Chocobo. And so people climb up this Chocobo and take a picture of themselves posting on social media. You know that's a way to get their get their, the game out in the world. You know, and of course this morning, you ride your chuckle boy, you go over the wrist, you chuckle may bite or kick. So obviously, Evelyn, Evelyn and I is gonna get up there and uh, get a picture. And it'll be cool. I love chuckle. They're really, really adorable. <laughs> so, wish me luck, guys. around the, the entrance of the South Hall. I forgot to mention everything here where I mentioned so far is from the entrance of the South Hall. In this uh, Tekken 7 booth and you get to take pictures with uh, these lovely ladies from uh, the Tekken 7 game. They'll pose right in front and then you take a picture with them. So, pretty neat. I'm gonna get one myself and uh, 
some memories to take home. So guys, uh, now it marks the end of E3 2016. It's been a lot of fun um, experiencing all the booths that everything, all the manufacturers has to offer. A lot of great games, a lot of uh, new games that I'm not even familiar with, and and to see the artistic and you know creativity of this industry is just wonderful. And to be on the cutting edge, it's just um, gets me excited all the time. So it looks like I want to come back next year. But you know, hey. Um, I, like I said, throughout the entire trip, got, I got great memories with Evelyn. Um, she got to get more hands-on this year, and I hope you guys enjoy these set series of vlogs that I've been putting up for E3. And, uh, and if you guys are interested in me doing more vlogs in the future and other conventions, and especially next year when I possibly go to E3 again, let me know in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it a lot. And always, if you follow me, subscribe to my social media. I, you know, I, I posted many uh, posting throughout my social media: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You find it at Danny. 4842 and you see lots of photos and constant updates so I'm gonna sign off here and I'm gonna obviously if you have flip it to the other side they'll say E3 see you next year June 13th to 15th 2017 so hopefully I will be right back around that date so all right guys catch you again thanks for watching